today we're making wire wrapped mushrooms we've got two different designs here this one on the left is the 26 gauge wire and this one on the right hand side is the 20 gauge wire so it's slightly thicker they're both really simple and cute designs I've got my two mushroom crystals today and they're about 20 millimeters tall and 15 millimeters wide we're going to start with a smaller twisted wire wrap so the smaller wire here is the 26 gauge wire and we need three seven inch lengths so I just measure and cut them to length So we've got our three seven inch lengths of wire here, but we're going to start with just two of them. So I just take one out. Now with these two, I just place my two ends together and follow it back down to about halfway. So in this case, it's about three and a half inches down the wire there. Then I'm just going to hold it firmly in my left hand. And then these right hand wires, I just bring them apart so that I can twist them together and then I'm going to do five twists. Equally twisting each wire around the other wire. Then I can bring these wires on the left apart as well so that they don't untwist. You should have a nice tight even looking twist and you want to try and have all your connections look the same. Now we add on the third wire so I'm just going to place it on the top of this right hand side. Again we place the ends together and then follow it back down towards the middle and that's where we're going to pop our twist. We're trying to make a little triangle to hold the base of our mushroom in place. So this twist here needs to be about one centimetre away from the first twist. I just measure one centimetre there and then I'm going to hold it firmly in my left hand again, bring these wires on the right apart and twist five times. Then we can bring these wires on the left apart and you will start to see our little triangle forming there. And that's going to fit over the base of our mushroom stalk. We want a nice even triangle here on the inside with the same length along each side. Of the triangle you will start to see where your last connection needs to be and where you need to twist it to form a nice even triangle you can measure out another centimeter if you need but I find I can do it quite well by eye usually just making sure it's even again just holding it nice and firmly in my left hand and where these wires cross over each other we're going to twist them together nice and evenly again just doing the five twists around each other now you should have a little triangle sort of netting that looks like this. You can grab your little mushroom shaped crystal now and we're going to pop the little triangle shape over the base of the mushroom there. You want for it to be quite nice and tight and sit on this edge around underneath the top of the mushroom there, in between the base and the top. And that's gonna hold your little mushroom nice and secure. Then we can bring the wires up and around the top of the mushroom. Just make sure it's all sitting nice and evenly there and then you're ready to put your first twists onto the top part of the mushroom. Now I'm holding the wire wrap onto the crystal nice and firmly and then we're going to bring one wire out of each twist that are next to each other. Just sort of bringing them over across each other and at the point where they overlap each other, we're just going to twist them five times around each other, nice and evenly. And then we'll move around the mushroom onto the next connection. So again, the two wires that are next to each other. Bring them across and where they overlap, we do our five twists around each other
Then the last side as well, there should be just two wires left. So just bringing them over to overlap against each other and then the five twists there as well. Now you want all your twists to be pushed down, laid onto the mushroom. We're trying to get all these wires to meet up in the centre right at the top. If your mushroom was a bit bigger, you might do one more layer of twists. Our mushrooms are super tiny, so we don't fit one more layer. But to secure this wrap at the top here, we're just bringing all the wires into the middle and then bringing two opposite wires to twist them around each other. And then bringing two more opposite wires in and twisting them together. And then bringing another wire in and twisting and another wire, just so they're all connected in the middle there. And I'm just going to gently twist them all together around each other. And it should make a nice even twist in the middle that's nice and secure with all those wires. And it should sort of sit nice and neatly. Twisting all those wires right to the top there. You should have a nice tight, tidy little twist here. And your little mushroom crystal should be nice and secure in the wire wrap underneath. Now we can make our bale on the top. So I just bend that whole wire twist on the top over. And then with our round nose pliers, I just grab it just above the bend, bring the wire around the pliers, and then in between the crystal and the pliers there so that we can bring it around a couple of times for a nice strong bale. Then we can cut the end tail off and crimp it in nice and tight. So there's no sharp wires poking out and so that it looks nice and tidy. So there's our first little wire wrapped mushroom with the 26 gauge wire. So that one's a nice dainty one. Now onto the second design with a slightly thicker 20 gauge wire. For this one here we need 12 inches of the 20 gauge dead soft silver wire. Now we want to make a gentle bend in our wire to find the middle. You can measure it if you want. Then I just grab it with the round nose pliers in the middle there. And I'm going to bring the wire right around the round nose pliers two times to make two full loops for a nice strong bale. You can sort of do one and a half and then you'll probably need to take the wire off your pliers and readjust them to just get that last little part of the second loop. Once they're crossing over each other then you can twist them together and that secures that little bale in place. For this design here, we start at the top of the mushroom and we just work our wires down each side of the mushroom gently while holding the bale on the top. I find it's really helpful to just secure those wires on each side of the top there with some tape. It helps the wires stay in place while I work on the bottom half of the wire wrap. It's a little bit fiddly, but just make sure that your bale is sitting right in the centre of the top of the mushroom there. Then you can pop a little piece of tape on each wire on the side. And that's just going to help me keep it nice and even. Now we can turn the mushroom up the other way and work on the wrap on the underneath side of the mushroom. So with these wires that are coming upwards now, we just want to make a really gentle bend over the lip of the mushroom there. Just gently under the top there so that we can wrap it around and hold this mushroom in place. We start to bring it around the mushroom stalk there. Just doing the same with this other wire as well, coming over that lip there and then working it around the stalk as well. So we're going to bring each wire around one full loop so that it comes back to where that wire came in. 
just doing both wires equally. Each wire comes around one full loop and back to where it started. Once they've come around, they sort of cross over that original wire and then come up the side. So you can bring them up in between each of the wires that was already there. Now we want to bend each wire up over the lip again so that it can come up the side in between those other wires. You can bring it straight up the side to attach to the bail or you can wrap it around to just create a little whimsical loop there if you like. So I just push my wire onto the mushroom there and spin the mushroom around and that creates a little loop there and then I bring the wire right up to the top to the bail and wrap it around a few times just to secure it in place. Making sure that your bail stays in the centre of your mushroom. And once you've wrapped it around, you can snip that little tail off and crimp it in nice and tight. Then you can do the same with the other wire, so just gently bending it over the lip of the mushroom there and bringing it straight up or bringing it around for another little loop in the middle there. Once I've formed the circle, I can bring the wire up to the top to wrap it around the bale as well. Just making sure it's coming around really nice and tidy and tight. And then we can cut the little tail off and secure it in nice and tight. Now you can take the little pieces of tape off and you can work with your wires a little bit just to make sure they're sitting in the right spots and that your bale is sitting nice and straight and how you like it and all those wires are looking even and symmetrical. There we have our two different wire wrap designs for crystal mushrooms.